In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the functions of normal cutout and why we should use it within sheet metal. So we have a fairly simplistic part here and I've got this sketch that we're going to use. So why use normal cutout rather than extrude? Well, let's have a look. Let's extrude one of these sketches here. We'll take these curves here and we'll extrude them through the part. And we can see we've got different depth where we can go through and create the cutout. And what you'll notice is it does exactly what the command says. If we take a look at the view and clip that, we can see the sketch just runs directly through the part. Let's do the same thing now, but with normal cutout. I'm going to reset the settings. I'm going to select connected curves, select the direction, and I'm just going to go through all for this first one and hit OK. And what you can see is where the sketch comes through the part, we get a cut which is perpendicular to the layer faces or the top and bottom faces, which is exactly what you need when cutting this out in the flat. So let's take a look and see what I mean by that. We'll do an unbend. And this is the form that you would cut the part out with a punch or a laser. And you can see with the extrude, we got some non-perpendicular faces that are going to cause us a problem. So for normal cutout, let's just do another example here. We generate the correct curve profile that's perpendicular to the face. Some of the other options within here, we've got the cut method thickness. So if we look at this profile head on, we can see the material that's cut always allows the internal cutout of the curve to be projected through. If we use a cut method of mid-plane, it takes what it says, the middle of there, so some overlap and some don't. And nearest face just says, I, whatever face I hit first, I'm going to use that and then propagate perpendicular. We'll leave this on thickness face and then we'll look at the limits. I can do a value and the value can be taken through to any depth but always we will get a perpendicular thickness face all the way through and I can take that right the way through. With between I can say I'm going to go between this face and this face so we just get that option or if I go between this face and this face, I get the first two and so on. If I do until next, I just get the first face that the sketch is projected onto. And of course, through all will take us through, through all of them. A couple of other options, depending where the sketch is, we've got symmetric depth, and of course we can reverse the direction from the dialogue as well as the, as the graphics. So the final option is a different type within normal cutout, which is a 3D curve. Now one of the requirements is a 3D curve, it must be a closed sketch. And what I've done here, if I just square up here, I projected a curve which is circular onto the face, and you can see I've got a closed sketch. I can use this curve and it will generate me the correct geometry. Now one thing to note here is that this uses nearest face as its option. So if we go back to sketch, we've got the nearest face option, which is the only option available for the 3D curve. Why is that important? If I unbend, we can see that all of the faces are normal, i.e. normal cutout. To the to the direction of the of the part. And that's a quick overview of normal cutout within sheet metal.